making my lunch. I don't know about you, but multiple sclerosis caused so much frustration inside of me. That frustration, the fire inside of me, it propelled me to go out on a limb and take a chance. That chance is paying off big time. I think I've hit the nail on the myelin head. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm always telling you to start to lift weights. My story started by chance one morning in 2012. I was browsing the internet. That was all I could do at that time. My fatigue, my pain, my spasticity was always too much to handle and I couldn't do much. The dream of changing my life from the prison I was locked in was always there, never fading. That morning though, I read about wave loading. The idea of it floated around my head. Even at home, I was permanently bound to my quad cane, but I could see it the direction my mobility was headed. Always getting worse, <sighs> never getting better. At that time, my driving force was gaining strength. It took me over a year to start, but once I did, thankfully, it started to get the ball rolling to change my life. Want to know how I stopped multiple sclerosis progression? Weightlifting repairs my limb loss to MS and stops all symptoms. Hey, it's Steve. Weightlifting changed my life. The power it has is far more than anyone ever told me. I don't think most people know. I uncovered an explanation that explains why my MS has essentially disappeared. <sighs> it tells the tale about how weightlifting restores myelin. There's a common misconception that you need big muscles to be good at weightlifting. The strength is generated up here in the brain, not the muscles. So inside the brain, when heavy weight is lifted, a neuron generates an electrical current known as an impulse. When it goes off, it releases neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters, in turn, bind to nearby neurons. The receiving neurons then generate their own electrical impulses and release yet more neurotransmitters, triggering the process and even more neurons. <laughs> The cycle repeats itself over and over the entire time when you're lifting. <sighs> this electrical storm causes the neurons to release adenosine triphosphate, which is a highly energetic molecule. Known as ATP, this molecule binds the special sites on the surface of brain cells called astrocytes, which cause them to release a substance 
known as leukemia inhibitory factor. It binds to oligodendrocytes and stimulates them to deposit myelin around neurons. I didn't make this up in a bout of wishful thinking. <laughs> it's scientific fact. Running around the block, I don't think we'll achieve it. Playing sports? No, I don't think it will either. Stretching, swimming, Pilates? <laughs> None of these activities generate enough electrical impulses needed to activate myelin repair. Every other day, I use my Bowflex Revolution Home Gym. I love it. I think it's one of the best home gyms out there for people who have trouble standing. In their marketing material, they say it's used by NASA for the International Space Station. It is able to work out every body part and create resistance from any angle, regardless whether standing or sitting I have made a change recently. <sighs> it's propelled me to recover even more than before. So let me, let me summarize it. The summary of this change. Lift short and lift heavy. You don't want to work out for hours. Not only does it cause our fatigue, it's not what we want if our aim is to generate strength. And strength is key. I've worked at mine up over time. I first started in 2013 with 20 simple pounds. Now, I start with 110 pounds Per side. If I attach the foot plate to do sitting squats, that's 220 pounds. I care little about form. Uh, don't get me wrong. While it is useful to prevent injury, once you've figured out how your body works, following form matters very little. <sighs> the heavier I lift, I think my form, it doesn't look pretty. <sighs> I have an ultimate the good though I have an ultimate goal though in mind. My own creation. I'm finding myself in a very unique position right now. The past six months, there have been numerous, huge changes. It leads me to believe this coming MRI will show fantastic, <sighs> amazing changes. Are you wave loading yet? If you are, have you started to notice any changes? Remember, it's like a snowball rolling down a mountain. It keeps growing and growing until it becomes so big, it unleashes an entire avalanche coming down the mountain. So keep it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.